Today I messed up by making a blood bond with my kids. I was watching something my wife was watching. I'm not sure of the title, but 20 minutes of watching this white dude and Indian dude had become friends after being enemies. To bond their loyalty or whatever, they each slit their palms with a knife, and with a bleeding hand they shook, bonding their loyalty or whatever I don't know. Anyway, I did that with my kids, except I didn't actually cut their hand. I put ketchup on a plastic knife. So all day they've been telling me things like, hey blood brother what's up blood dad and a few other things which I thought is whatever. Well, my lady goes outside to smoke a cigarette and my kids and I join her to socialize, run around or whatever. Well, my neighbor's son got out of prison like three days ago and there have been some super sketchy people around our area ever since. My youngest who is three has this thing where every single person she meets, sees or talks to is her best friend so here comes walking up the stairs this dude with tats all over him, typical jailhouse bod and my youngest runs up to him and is like, what's up blood? Yo, my wife and I cracked up so hard and this dude wasn't laughing at all. He was trying to talk to me aggressive, serious and was like, I can't quote it but it was like yo you think that's cute dog, you wanna disrespect the hood you want to get crammed? This didn't help at all because I don't know what crammed means, neither did my wife but we just laughed even harder. At this point the neighbor's son came out, some girl and another dude. Their friend is all pissed off and my wife and I plus my kids are basically laughing in this guy's face. They get all in my face and I'm now starting to realize I'm being stupid. This guy and his friends are getting aggressive, which is fine with me but my three kids are out with me with my ill wife and limit patio space. So I basically just tell my wife and kids to go inside, tell the man I'm sorry you got offended but what my kid said was random and funny. Also I said, that it didn't help you said you were gonna cram me which I don't know who talks like that it was hilarious. When I said that the girl with them chuckled I couldn't help but smirk. I just told him if we got problem let me know, otherwise we're cool it's not a big deal. Nothing ended up happening they ended up all going inside. Man I wanted to so badly leave with a, take it easy blood or some smart ass comment but yo I was so fucking scared. I talked big but I knew that ass whoopin would have been swift, painful and embarrassing. Yesh. Too long. Didn't read. Kids took a blood pact with me, kids called me blood dad. Wrong words said to neighbor. Not good at too long. Didn't reads lol this is my first time using it. Today I messed up by telling my girlfriend that she is not the only beautiful woman in existence. We were watching Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. There is this green insect humanoid alien called Zmantis that gets called ugly by one of the main characters all throughout the movie. While watching I said something along the lines of, PFF I don't even think she's ugly. I actually find her damn sexy. My girlfriend chuckled and didn't react any further, I didn't think for a second that this was a stupid thing to say. After all, that's a fictional alien-like creature in a movie. Well on the next day she called me and said she didn't like the comment and it made her feel weird. We haven't been exclusive for all too long and she doesn't like me admiring other women like that. I thought that was kinda childish at first and said, okay I'm sorry about that. But why does this upset you? I mean, she is a fictional character. Even if not, you do know that you are not the only beautiful woman in existence, do you? I don't know why these things come to my head and why I speak them before realizing how stupid it is. Now she is pissed. Too long. Didn't read. Reminded my girlfriend that there are other beautiful women out there and now she's pissed at it, we talked about it, the issue is resolved and it was not a big deal. Today I messed up by announcing my poops during an important conference call. Well this happened about 45 minutes ago and I'm dead so this is maybe my ghost posting for me. Since there's not much else to do while working from home under quarantine, we've decided we're going to potty train our two-year-old next month. In an effort to get too interested in the potty, we, myself, husband, and five-year-old, have been proudly announcing when we do our business, and then promptly giving each other high fives and cheers, etc. Two is definitely curious and each time we tell her, just wait until you do it. You can get all the cheers. So today after I do my business, I proudly run downstairs and proclaim in a loud reaches the back of the room kind of voice, I went poopy on the potty. And there is dead silence. I look at my family staring back at me with wide eyes. I'm really confused until a heartbeat later, I realize my husband is on a conference call that is both unmuted and on speaker. 
and they've just heard my grand announcement. Let's make it even horrifying, it's not just my husband's immediate team because no, that would be too easy, it's a big conference call with many supervisors across different sites who were discussing some upcoming program changes. Yep. Ong are you on a conference call? I shouted in the same loud voice, wishing the floor would just swallow me up right there. Yay, mommy went poopy. Cheers too also very loudly. I'm not sure what happened next because I died. R.I.P. me and I'm not going to any Christmas party ever again now. Too long. Didn't read. In an effort to teach my two-year-old about how cool using the potty is, I proudly announced that I pooped and it was accidentally overheard by my husband's very large and important conference call. 